All right, YouTube, today is the 8th of March, and it's been about a month and a half since I did my last video, and I've been trying to figure this out. I don't have too much time to work on this, but I think I did figure it out for the most part. Anyway, recapping a little bit, at solar noon on time and date, I chose six locations. There they are, recorded their angles. On the dates is listed there. Um, I already have the miles and everything listed to the equator. Anyway, I did this before, of course, as you see in my last video, and I was running into some problems getting all the angles to work. I mean, I could get the center one and say one of the end ones to work, but then the inners weren't working. But now I got them to work, and what we're going to look at here is the darker lines, the blue or black I don't know if you could tell these are green or not I don't know if that's gonna show up but anyway let's take this first angle it says Punta Arenas Chile and you see you see my son over there but if we bring it down you know what you're not gonna be able to see with this let me shut this shade all right maybe you can see it a little better now okay you go down you can see how it lines up very well all right next one santiago chile once again that lines up very well also okay the next one arica chile lines up perfectly we'll go over here to Santiago, Chile. There's the line. And it lines up nicely. Okay, Boston. Let's see what that looks like. Oh. oh, once again, we're getting a sun line in there. But that does line up very nicely. Last one is this one in uh, Canada. This one's going to be hard to show you because some of my dome is in the way here, but let's see if we can kind of catch some of it. I don't know if you can, can you see that? It looks like it lines up pretty close. Um, now, this all works great when the sun is on the equator, but in, say, the winter solstice or summer solstice that's when everything gets uh, kind of screwed up now we're looking at the green lines okay you'll see how this one's off a little okay let's go to Santiago Chile it's off Punta Arenas again off and I'm trying to figure out why is it off and the only thing I can think of is in order to get these to line up I would need the same setup I got right here flipped up on top so this would come out like this and another thing is is this is only the western hemisphere so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw you a diagram of what the dome would look like and I did take some measurements of what the dome height would be uh, from the equator. It's about 1,500 miles um, from Punta Arenas. It's probably 450. I got some notes over here. I'll clean it all up and I'll show you that in a minute. All right, just in case you couldn't see it before, I hung up a sheet to block out the sun. So let's just check these again real quick. Okay, there's one. Here's the next one. Oh, we're still getting a little glare. Well, hopefully you guys can see this. Okay. Santo Domingo. From Boston. Boston. Looks good. Last one. This is the hard one again. See if you can see it in there. 
I don't know if you can see it, but let's see if I can point to it. You can see it right here. Hmm. Well, if I were to cut part of this off, you'd be able to see it. But anyway. So now the display is torn down, water's drained, and it doesn't seem like the dome is going to be 250 miles tall like my last video, but I did take a larger area between these two points. It's like 7,900 miles, whereas before um, I was only working with half that distance from the equator to Quebec. And again, this would only be half of it. I mean, there'd be another dome right over here. So, <laughs> of course, if you picture a McDonald's sign, well, that's kind of what it seems like it's working out to be. Um, so I cleaned up everything and I typed out these numbers so you can actually see them. And here it shows the equators, 1500. I don't know if anybody's trying to measure the dome. I hope I'm not the only guy out there trying to do it. Um, so if, if any of you know someone who is trying to do this, um, point me to their video because I'd like to take a look at it. And I guess uh, I did do some drawings on what my idea of this dome firmament would be. And this is what I came up with. Of course, everything is speculation. This seems to be it. Um, here's another example. This is the one I think it would be most closest to, where everything's like a toroid. You know, here's the sun and moon. I didn't want to put <laughs> the moon over here because then it's starting to look like Moloch. They all kind of wanted to stay away from that. Um, there are flat earth maps that are in a heart shape, and I thought this was kind of interesting. If you look at the history of the heart shape, where it came from, it's been around for a while. Maybe it's got something to do with it, maybe not. I don't know. Let me know what you think.